Hey guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a how-to SEO topic, and that is kind of piggybacking on blog commenting for links, which is, you know, ah, but it can be done in an effective way. And really today we're going to be talking a lot about that. So how can you get some inbound links by commenting on blogs in an effective and positive way? So like I said in an earlier video, commenting on blogs, 99 or okay, 95% of it is typically crap and spam, but it can be a way that you can get not only some links, if there are some do follow links in some comment um, sections on blogs, but more importantly, traffic to your website. So how do you find this out and how do you do this? There's one way that I really recommend that you do is set up an RSS feed reader with, you know, with your website. It has to do with, going back to that example we've been using, bird watching. Um, just set up an RSS feed reader of resources out there that you look up to that you find useful and set that up so you can see new posts that go live on all those resources. And check up that and when something happens and you have some something to say, or even more importantly, if you have something on your website that kind of addresses or talks about the same type of issue, that's a really great opportunity for you to pop in there, make a timely comment on, in, on, on a post that just recently went out, and that's important, and include a link to a very relatable piece of content to what is being discussed. So again, those are the two really important factors of a, the piece needs to be timely. You don't want to comment on something a year plus old and say, hey, I've got a resource about that too. Check it out here. That's just seen as really spammy, really crummy, and most likely the blog owner won't go back. Even if the comments are open, it won't go back and like approve that comment or even look to respond about it. And it's from a traffic perspective, that's you need to really only target those posts that have just recently come out, you know, let come out in the last couple of days, right? And that's where having that feed reader setup is really great in that you're able to, to categorize and very quickly have a feed that shows anything new that's been um, published by those blogs, websites, etc. But then, you know, when it comes to the resource side of things, it's really important that you don't think that you have to link to every from every single post. You don't have to throw a link in every single one. You're kind of relationship building here, right? You want to be someone that's contributing to the discussion, not someone that's just throwing some, you know, text pollution over um, over and over on, on certain blogs and just kind of like saying your opinion and like that's that and then leaving to come again another day and throw a link in there. You're really trying to build a, a relationship between these other bloggers and people putting out related content. You start kind of figuring out your name, figuring out who you are, likes, dislikes. And then when you have a very relatable piece of content, that's when you put it into that, that post, right? That's when you comment on something and give your two cents about it and say, hey, I have some further thoughts about this type of issue. Here, link, okay? And when you're not coming out of left field, that's seen as something that's very organic, very natural. Something that probably other bloggers would actually really, really recommend and say, hey, this is really great. You know, you're, you're talking about the discussion, getting that discussion, etc. So you really need to look at timeliness as well as only linking to relatable content. And that's how you can comment on blogs, potentially get some links, and get some traffic because of that as well. Again, this is Christian Bullock, 365 days of SEO.com. We'll see you guys tomorrow.